It's family hour. There must be something on. Oh, wow! Candy critters! Oh! Oh, great! It's Monsters, our favorite show. It's starting. Okay. Where were we? October 25th. I moved in here about a week ago. Until now, I've had no real assurance this was his house. I've had to go on were some vague old letters and the real estate agents educated guests but this afternoon buried in a dank closet under years of forgotten junk I found the proof I needed box there for me to find. I am now convinced that I found his private Hollywood retreat, the sanctuary where he secretly worked on his most memorable characters. I'm about to embark on a journey which will lead me to the source of his genius, a journey into the mind of the great, the immortal. Ah, oh, Christine, my angel. Dale. <laughs> this neighborhood gives me the creeps. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? believe you'd rather live in a dump like this instead of instead of your place it could be our place it would always be your place besides what better place than this to write my book i mean can't you feel it his spirit is everywhere in this house ghosts make lousy cooks dale and they're even worse in bed <laughs> Is the ghost going to be able to compete with that? I almost forgot. Oh, wait till you see it. <sighs> so I came all the way over here for this. I believe I let them talk me into wearing this eyeshadow. Look. F. Pierce, Debbie. Fulton Pierce. It proves this house was owned by Fulton Pierce. <laughs> Pierce? Pierce. Damn it, Dale. That's all you ever talk about anymore. Debbie, we are talking Hollywood mythology here. One of the greatest film actors who ever lived. Fulton Pierce. Just a name. A phantom from the past. But that's the point. No one really knows who he was. Oh, don't you see? We're talking Hollywood's most enduring legend. It's like 
what really happened to Marilyn Monroe? Or, or uh, what caused James Dean's crash? Who was the real Fulton Pierce? <laughs> I gotta go. What? There's a reception down at the Biltmore for the new marketing director of New York Woman. Um, my agent wants me to make an appearance. I uh, thought maybe you'd spend the night. Are you kidding? Not in this house. I feel like there's someone always staring at us. Vivi, please, I need you. You're my inspiration. Honey, with my inspiration, you can't even finish your PhD thesis. What makes you think you're going to write a book? This book is my future, Deborah. Our future. And Fulton Pierce is going to help me write it. Did you find this? In that little cottage I rented up in Beechwood Canyon. I was just 16 in precious baby's breath when I met him. My friends thought I was loony. Well, he was over twice my age. But damn, he made the world magical. Guess the neighborhood's changed a lot since. Oh. Kiddo, you can't begin to know. Miss Montgomery, every serious fan knows about his films, his characters. Nowadays, a lot of them could even duplicate his makeup techniques. A lot of people drive cars who don't know how they work. Exactly. How did he hide himself? I, I don't mean how he made himself look like the role. I, on the outside, I, I want to know how he became the role. On the inside. If I knew that kiddo, I'd know his secret. All I can tell you is, kiddo, he'd spend hour after hour in that little cabin, staring at himself in the mirror. himself into Quasimodo, Dracula, ugh. vampire. Still. Why did he keep putting off that role until so late in his career? Made him uneasy. Ah, he was hard to be with. Something about that role. It was... Seductive. Evil. Let me tell you something, kiddo. You're moving into dangerous territory. Fulton Pierce could do things no actor before or since could do. And it took its toll. He died a young man. I suppose that's the price one pays for genius. And what are you willing to pay for a mere glimpse of it? No good! I just can't get started. All my ideas sound contrived, superficial. I mean, how do you describe magic? That's what it was. 
a reservoir of magic he could tap into whenever he needed to become someone else. Some power beyond him. Here. In this house. It happened here. I know it. I, I, I can feel it. Somehow the creative force took over. Debbie. Well, at least you remember my name. I wasn't expecting to see you. Don't let your enthusiasm get to me. I didn't mean that... What about tonight's dinner? I forgot. Deb. Debbie. You gotta understand, I've been so wrapped up with the Pierce book right now, I just can't think of anything else. Well, I see you're getting a lot done. I'm uh, still in the research phase. Dale, we can't go on like this. You are becoming obsessed with the stupid book you're supposedly writing. I mean, who cares? I'm not trying to write a bestseller, damn it. I'm trying to get respect. Respect. And when I get finished... If you get finished. Dale, you've got to make up your mind. What? Fulton Pierce or me. No. What did you say just before the... Make up your mind. Make up your mind. That's it. Make up your mind. That's the key. Somehow he learned how to make up his mind. What are you talking about? Make up your mind. You said make up your mind. I mean it too. Yes. I know you do. And now I can. You solved my problem. You brought me the inspiration I said you would. I don't understand. You don't have to. All you have to know is that I love you very much. Dale, all I ever wanted was to be with you. I've been so lonely. Everything's gonna be fine. this book and we're gonna be together Dale Dale This is how he did it.
how you feeling? Well, I don't exactly feel like singing a little song. Do you remember anything? Remember? Remember what? Dale, you gotta leave this house. You gotta come home with me. It's... Forget about this book. Forget about it? Are you out of your mind? I know how he did it. I know how he became one of the greatest actors of all time. And it's gonna make me famous. <laughs> no more pompous department heads hiding behind their tenure. No more lectures to snivelly little rich kids who think Nightmare on Elm Street is a great film. <laughs> no more. This is Debbie Curzon's boyfriend. Discussing the soul of an actor. Yeah, that's right, okay. Is it only the trained professional who can shed his personality in favor for another's? Pierce certainly understood the emotional chaos involved, and he was able to master it. Master it from the inside out. But what if we all have that capability within us? What if we all have the power to mutate from one character to another in a lifetime of roles? What if we all have that power? hidden inside. Would we have the will to control it? What if I 